The most common task when working with Synchronizer is to compare two worksheets. In this tutorial I'll lead you step by step through how this works. As the first step we need to select the two workbooks we would like to compare. You can do that by either clicking on the drop down menu which shows you your most recent projects or by clicking on the red folder icon to select the workbooks. In our example a red message appears here. This is the case if the two worksheets have a different name. If the name is different Synchronizer cannot match them automatically and you will need to match them manually. Up here you see the name of the source worksheet. Go to the target worksheet, click on the drop down menu and select the matching worksheet. Click on it and click on the red arrow. Now the two worksheets are matched and we can start comparing them. Now before we click the start icon to compare the two worksheets, one more thing. In Synchronizer you can compare either as a worksheet, which is the default setting, or you can compare as a database, which will be covered in a separate tutorial. For now let's stay on the worksheet comparison, so we are ready and can click the start button to compare the two worksheets. And here are our results. On the left side is your main navigation and on the right side are the two worksheets with the differences highlighted. Up here is the summary of your comparison. It shows you the source worksheet's name. These icons here show the different types and the number shows the number of differences. About numbers, this icon stands for differences in entered values and formulas. Means you have a different value, for example, in the source worksheet and in the target worksheet. So it just shows you the number, how many differences occur. Now these two here are inserted columns and inserted rows. Therefore the number is split 10 and 12. That means you have 10 inserted rows on the source worksheet and 12 inserted rows on the target worksheet. And the same for the inserted columns, one inserted column on the source worksheet and no inserted column on the target worksheet. In our example we have only four types of differences. If there are other types that have been found, they will be also shown up here with different icons. Here it shows you the individual differences for each type of difference. To change the difference, just click on the type you would like to work on and it shows you the difference for a different type. Let's have a closer look at the navigation. Here you have the arrow so you can go one by one by one through and work on each of the differences. Here you have the suggestion how to update either the source worksheet or the target worksheet. This means update all the differences from the source to the target worksheet. This means update an individual difference on the target worksheet. Update an individual difference on the source worksheet and update all the differences from the target worksheet to the source worksheet. Down here it shows you the cell where a difference occurs in the source worksheet and the same for the target worksheet. Then the difference itself on the source worksheet and the same on the target worksheet. To make working more convenient and easier, you have here the option to change the sorting. Sort by row as it is now, sort by column 
group by row and group by column. The grouping looks like this. This tells you in the row 11 you have one difference in the target. On 12 one difference, three differences on row 27 and so on. To get the details, click on the plus and it shows you what difference you have. The same group by column. In column B you have two differences, in column C you have ten differences and so on. Also here click on the plus to see the details. Let's go back to the default which is the sort by row. Let's have a look how to update the two worksheets. We start with the inserted columns, click on the number of differences and it shows you the details. Reading it, it says on column H the source worksheet has an inserted column while the target worksheet does not have one. Up here Synchronizer gives you the update options you have. Either transfer all the inserted columns from the source worksheet to the target worksheet, transfer only the selected inserted column from the source to the target, delete all the inserted columns or delete only the selected inserted column. So let's transfer the inserted column from the source to the target worksheet. Click on this icon and it is automatically transferred. By transfer I mean copy it from the source worksheet to the target worksheet so both are equal or identical now. Now since we have transferred that it shows you that in green so both have this inserted column on column number H. The green one means the updated one. Let's look at the inserted rows. Also here click on the number of differences and the details are listed here. Also in this case you have up here the options how to update your worksheets. Transfer all inserted rows from the source worksheet to the target worksheet. Transfer only the selected inserted row from the source to the target. Transfer all the inserted rows from the target to the source. Delete all inserted rows on the source. Delete the selected inserted row on the source. And delete all inserted rows on the target worksheet. Let's play some examples. Let's say the first we like to move from the source to the target. The second one we like to delete. And the third one we move from the target to the source worksheet. And this is how the difference or the updates are shown. Red means delete and green means update or transfer. If you like to see how many differences you have updated already, simply click on the refresh and it repeats the comparison again. Now as you can see we have no inserted columns anymore and we have only six respective four left on the inserted rows. Let's have a look for the differences in values and formulas. Also here it is the same navigation. You can click on any difference and it jumps automatically. A nice feature is to synchronize crawling which makes working with differences even easier. Click on a difference and both worksheets jump simultaneously to the selected difference. Also here you have the options how to update the differences. Either transfer all the differences from the source to the target, transfer only the selected one from the source to the target, transfer a selected difference from the target to the source and transfer all the differences from the target back to the source. Also here it shows you if you transfer an individual 
certain difference. It shows you the update in green. If you transfer back, in green. Delete option you don't have since this is not necessary. And finally, we look at the differences in calculated values. Also here, click on the number of differences and you have all the differences listed here. Let's pick an example. This one here, the formulas are identical, but the values that have been calculated based on these formulas are different. So an automatic update here is not possible since you will need to go to find why are the calculated results different. That's it how to compare a worksheet. Thank you for watching.